Hey guys, Michael Sanchez, Violin Teacher here. At this point, you've learned quarter notes, you've learned eighth notes. I recommend that you download the Violin Shack Book 1, which has some great songs that start to have you play it with these eighth notes and quarter notes. And song number 19 is great to warm up with, the fast start. Uh, but I'm going to be playing for you guys the number 21 song, which is Jolly Old St. Nicholas today. Follow along about at the speed that I'm at. Ready, set, go. Up, up. Rest. 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 Great, so a few things to mention in that song. Make sure that you're getting your elbow up and down for the D and A string changes, that's really important. Also, as I mentioned in a previous lesson, it's really important that we do organize eighth notes. So basically, make sure that you're playing the eighth notes either here or here, depending on where we're at in the bow stroke. So in line two, because we're at the tip after we play the G, I want you guys to make sure you're doing that at the tip. Great, and then the last measure of the piece, that's sort of tricky for some students to cross strings and play eighth notes at the same time. Just make sure that you're really focusing on the elbow making the string crossing. A lot of you guys, what you do is you force the string crossing with your hand, and that makes it bouncy or squeaky. So if you're getting some squeaks and some squawks in there, I highly recommend going back to my previous course, which teaches you everything about setting up proper fundamentals to really achieve a good, solid, clean sound. But that is so important right there to use the elbow to really change the plane. The way that I explain it to a lot of students is it's sort of like a stick shift. Have you ever driven a stick? So, you know, you want to put the clutch in and then you want to change the shift in the clutch quickly. Same thing with the elbow. You want to quickly change the elbow position for the string crossing, just like you would in a stick shift. And you don't want to force that with your hand. You want to basically have the hand be coming over because of what the elbow is doing and not forcing that with anything in the hand. So important. Okay. Once you're in that position, then it's all about extension as we learn in course one. It's all about wrist bending and moving the bow with the index. Thanks so much for watching.